What is going on guys? It's Justin from the J Media back with another video. So you guys might have saw some of the last few previous vlogs and I did install the new custom headlights on my Mitsubishi Lancer show build. They look awesome. Today is going to be another headlight install video. So we took off those headlights and they'll be making its way onto the Mitsubishi Lancer rail yard. So these stock headlights have to go. I did swap out to HID, sorry, LED bulbs recently, but yeah, I think aftermarket VLAN headlights look so much better. So that's the plan for today. Let's go ahead and swap out the headlights. And if you guys missed the last install video, it's pretty much the same process. Pop the hood, remove that cover, a uh, few 10 millimeter bolts on the top, on the fender, 10 mil bolt, 10 mil bolt. If you have stuff underneath, you also remove some clips bumper comes right off and we'll be able to replace the headlight so let's go ahead and get started all right so you just got to remove these plastic clips just right there you can use a plastic clip remover or if you don't have it just use your flat tip screwdriver on the rally art you have to take off this piece as well that's in the way so once all your clips are out, you should be able to remove this black plastic piece. And this will reveal all your 10 millimeter bolts that you have to remove. So five of them. So now that you have all five bolts removed, you can see front end is loose. You want to do the same, but this time we have the uh, bumper tabs. So in my case, on the rally art, we have the stock fender liner. You want to remove all these plastic clips, and then I should reveal this guy right here, which is 10 millimeter bolt. So where the fender meets the bumper, 10 millimeter bolt right here, and I would recommend turning your wheel so you have more clearance fit your ratchet in there so just like that once you remove this timing bolt it should pop right off so I'm doing the lazy way. I'm not taking off the whole front bumper, so I didn't really remove this fender liner. But main reason is because we have extra bolts that you have to remove right here, attached to the headlight. So now that we have everything, bumper should kind of hang a little loose, just so we can get more clearance to remove the bolts that's holding the headlights in place. There's one, two, one more here, one more in the bottom as well. Okay, so once you have everything loose, like I say, you want to take out the 10 mil bolts. You have uh, one, one's hidden right here, two, one, two, that's one right here, three, uh, and there's a fourth one somewhere, four up here. And uh, pretty much this thing should be kind of loose. You do have this thing in the way, so you have to kind of wiggle it out. Um, also, you have your harnesses, so don't forget to unplug this harness right here. Once that guy is unplugged, you have one more harness on the bottom, you have to unplug as well. So we got the driver's side headlight out and like I said if you don't want to remove the whole front bumper it's fine you can just remove the fender tabs as well as loosen up those top brackets I'm lazy I didn't take off the whole front bumper uh, but it's a little bit of a squeeze to get it out here but four bolts you have to remove one right here two one's kind of weird like right here three and the fourth one is right here where the fender meets the bumper and then two wiring harnesses this is the main wiring harness you have to remove that's one and one more right here so these two guys unclipped 
whole headlight comes right out. Alright, so this time we'll do things a little bit different. Let's go ahead and install the driver's side first and compare the OEM one versus the new VLAN headlights. Alright, so quick little comparison. Again, this is the OEM driver's side headlight and the aftermarket VLAN headlights. I did have the VLAN headlights on my Mitsubishi Lancer show built for a couple years. I want to say maybe three or four years. It's been quite a while. Worked great for me. Um, whenever you buy it, they do not come with the LED bulb. So make sure to purchase it separately. I also got some custom wiring work done for custom headlights. So I can change colors. As you guys can see, a wiring mess. I have to rewire everything again on this car. But yeah, pretty excited to see the difference. So for the aftermarket headlights, same thing. It does have one harness to plug into the OEM wiring harness and the other guy. So two harnesses to plug in. Like I said, I have a bunch of these extra wiring. I have to figure it out. Um, I do need to wire this to the positive terminal of the battery. And then this guy, I also do have to wire it up. Uh, just to give me the custom headlights. Alright, so new VLAN headlight is in. I do have to put all the bolts back. But this little guy right here, make sure that lines up. There's also this little, I guess you can say, clip. Lines up. And then put all the bolts together to reconnect all these wiring harnesses back together as well. And then we can see how it looks. Alright, so clipped on, the harness clipped on as well, both back in place, and officially the driver's side headlight is in. And here's a little comparison between both headlights. So we have the OEM on the passenger side and the aftermarket VLANs. Still have to wire up some stuff, so daytime running light might not be working. Uh, but let's go ahead and unlock the car. So sequentials. Sight marker right here. This one has the demon eyes on. Very nice and mean. Sequentials as well. Very nice. So let's go ahead and remove the passenger side. Throw on the new headlight. Get everything all wired up. Okay, and now we're going to remove the passenger side headlight. Same thing. Remove all your bolts. Get more clearance. And then you should be able to wiggle it up. And passenger headlight out so for the passenger side you do have this windshield wiper thing in the way so I remove the 10 mil bolt so you get a little more clearance so you can feed your hand down here to unclip these two wiring harnesses like I say headlights in the way right here so you have to feed your hand through the back so yeah you might want some extra clearance so now that that's removed we're gonna throw on the new passenger side headlight Alright, and I have the passenger side headlight in. I went ahead and did all my wiring for the custom headlights. I haven't put the bolts back in, but let's make sure it works. Alright, so I got pretty much almost everything buttoned up. I had the bolts all put back together underneath, on the side, on the bumper, as well as up here. All that stuff to do is put back this plastic piece, my intake, and I think we should be all set. Alright, we 
we have the plastic piece, everything back on. Let's go ahead and close the hood. And we're gonna go ahead and turn on the headlights for the very first time. We have everything all bun up together. All right, and everything is put back together in one piece. Here's another look at the headlights. Come around here to the passenger side. What do you guys think? All right, and this is how the headlights look. You unlock, nice and mean. And now for the important part, let's go ahead and switch on the headlights. All right, another cool thing is that with these headlights, I did some custom wiring work. So what that means is I have an app that I install on my phone and I had to take apart the headlights about two, three years ago I did this, but when I switch it on, I can change the color of the LEDs. So that's really cool and aggressive. What's super cool as well is on this app, I can pretty much click it to like auto mode, for example. I can do solid, I can do different colors. Very cool. And then if I want it, I could also do like strobes in different colors too. So that's really cool. So many different modes I can do. Or if I want it slower, I can do it like that. So just from Bluetooth app. So yeah, custom headlights that I done myself a few years back. Very cool. Show mode. And with that, I'm gonna wrap up the install vlog. Again, if you guys stay tuned, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe if you're new to the channel. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next one.